Hi, welcome to another Launchbox video. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that I found really tricky to pull off in full screen, being the Commodore Amiga CD32. Now, obviously being a PAL region person, this was very prevalent around 1992, 93, 94, uh, where it died off a little bit. Uh, but we're now we're going to try and put it into Launchbox. I found it to be a tad tricky uh, to get it in full screen. Uh, there's a couple of things you've got to do and a couple of things you've got to get uh, via Google. can't tell you where to get them, but you'll have to Google it. It's not a hard thing to do if you know what you're looking for, but let's start. First of all, obviously wherever you keep your launch box, I keep mine on an external hard drive. Uh, so first of all, you need, you need to do emulator, uh, create a folder called Amiga CD32. Exactly what I've done there. Uh, in there, you'll find a program called Install Win UAE, uh, and it's on a website. There's no point putting links there. All you have to do is type in Amiga Emulators on Google, and you'll get it. It's free. Uh, just do the latest update, which is what I've done. Uh, and the thing that you're going to need is a folder here called ROMs, and in this folder, you you will create. Uh, it's a folder in there with the kickstart ROMs. You need those three kickstart ROMs. I can't tell you where to get them, otherwise I would get into a lot of trouble. So, but you will be able to find them. That is what you need, those three, to be able to make the CD, Amiga CD work. So first of all, what you need to do is start on your Win UAE, that's your drop down menu. The only thing you need to mess around with, uh, quick start, Change that to Amiga CD32. Ba bum. Configure Amiga CD32, uh, and that's all you need to change from there on that bit. The next bit you'll go to will be display. Uh, this is the part that I've been struggling with, the display. Uh, I try and change that into full screen. Uh, don't put it in window size. Uh, change the window. I put it in something like what is set at default uh, and next thing to do is go to game ports leave port one as my mouse change it to mouse the second one you need to change it to your configurated controller I use an Xbox one controller so it shows up there change that to CD32 joypad and now it's on it's set and ready so what you need to do after that uh, once you've got that in there you've set your display uh, and just go to configurations, click, type in a name, click save, and that's it. As you can see, I've already done mine, so I'm just going to click load for what it's worth, and you can see how mine looks. Display, full screen, uh, game ports, Xbox One ma uh, mouse. Uh, that's pretty much it. Then quit. And if you you've got everything running right, you should see. I'll do the quick screen, which we exit. And you should see the Amiga CD screen load up. Very dramatic effect. Very dramatic. And it's F12 to quit. So you do need to use your keyboard. Uh, and quick. So that means it's working. It's configured. The Amiga CD32. So what you need to do then is move straight to your launch box, and then as you can see, I've added mine. But what you'll need to do is add an emulator. So click to tools, ma manage emulators, find your empty space there, and just click in, like I've done somewhere up here. You'll see it. Uh, Commodore Amiga CD32. I'll I'll click edit, but you'll click add once you've typed that in, and we'll meet at the same screen here. Just make sure it still says the same. Click on the browse. You know exactly where your icon is there. And once you've done that, click once. Now the run script, your default line parameters you're going to need is that in there. So I'll leave it on there for a second while you maybe pause it, write it down. I will try and put it in this uh, the description somewhere. I'll copy it there. And I will try and put it in the description. All you need to do is make sure that's in there. Click remove sp space before ROMs. Then once you do that, click there, type in Amiga CD32, 
I've clicked in dash full screen. Uh, I don't think it makes a big difference. Put default emulator, extract ROMs if you want to leave them as a zipped ROM. And if there's multi disk, tick multi disks. I haven't selected it as my Amiga emulator, as you can see. I've got I use the retro arch one is better. Uh, so once you've done that, click OK, and then you'll be greeted with. Or if not, you'll need to go to Tools, Import ROM files. Uh, once you've got your games, your games have done like what I've done with mine, where emulators and games are there. You've probably already done this because you've done enough of them by now. So what you've got there is Amiga CD32, and there are the games. That's all the games for them there. There's quite a few of them. So... Yeah, you leave them in zip format as long as you leave that box ticked to do it from zip. Uh, so once you've done that, we'll come out of there. So And then you'll just add them. Go through that walkthrough where you'll add files if you want to do it individually or add folder. Add folder <coughs> if you've got them all zipped up in a file. Click on the file, click next, go through all of that. You'll be greeted with the covers for all the box arts and all of that sort of stuff which I've got here. Uh, what, but you'll know how to do that bit. So once you've done that, you're good to go. <coughs> Excuse me. The only thing, the only problem I've found with this is I've tried and tried for nearly a week to get this to do this, and I cannot get it, no matter what I do, to go in full screen from LaunchBox. I've Googled everything uh, where I even found the default line parameters. But I cannot get it to do anything in full in full full screen from this option. Uh, from the standalone emulator, absolutely fine. Uh, but not from the. Uh, so I'll start a game, Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix, uh, and you'll see it will come up in the top corner. I cannot get it to undo and be in full screen no matter what I do. So what you need to do next is press your mouse wheel in if you've got one. And then this is what I do. Click on there. It's in full screen. Sometimes I've found that you that your joypad seems to lose its place on the on the thing. So what you need to do there is click there, Xbox One controller, C D thirty two obviously, do exactly what you did before. I don't know why it doesn't stick. If somebody can tell me, please please do say. Because uh, it's something I've been struggling with for a week, and no matter what information they land on Google, they just point to just doing that. So I'll press the B button, race circuit in South Africa, just see it getting working. Uh, qualify. I'm just doing this for the benefit so you can see something working. It was a very, very, very good game. What you need to do next is just untap your mouse. So untrap your mouse with the mouse wheel, press the button in the mouse wheel and that untraps it so you can do anything on the screen like close it and um, that pretty much brings it to a head that is as best as I've managed to find with the Amiga CD32 there are other YouTube videos out there uh, explaining things but it doesn't seem to work very well no matter what you do there are there is another emulator out there called uh, and I think it's a bit more high-end and a bit more challenging to work with with Amiga CD32. It's this one, FSUAE. Uh, it's I think it's a bit more challenging to do with the with LaunchBox. So yeah, I mean I've had uh, a week of trying to make that happen like that, and I cannot get it full screen no matter what I do, no matter what I enter into the emulator, it will not do it. It just seems to come up with a small screen in that corner. So, whether I'm doing something wrong and somebody wants to tell me and add something, uh, I'd be more than grateful because no matter what, I cannot 
get it to do it, even when I save my configuration. You know, it just doesn't seem to happen. So, but as you can see, it's back to there again. No, no, I have to put the joypad in. I don't understand why it doesn't seem to want to remember it. So if I click load, uh, load, see it's all there, but when I start the game, it doesn't go full screen. So we'll start wrapping it up from there. Don't forget, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you've got anything that you want to add about this, please do put it in there. I'm sure lots of people will see it and read it too. Uh, but that's it for now. I mean, you know, it was good to be able to see uh, something like this, the Amiga CD. I know a friend that had one. I never actually had one originally. A friend had one, but we never really bothered with it much. But I cannot get it to change that into full screen, no matter what command prompts I use. So, and all you need to do there is untrap your mouse with the with the wheel, and then you can maximize it if you like. F12 if you need to, and F12 will help you quit it because the quit is there. So we'll start wrapping the video up from there. So we'll be doing some more videos soon. So hopefully you had a good Christmas and a happy new year to you all. If you've only just seen this now uh, for Christmas, because it's Christmas time and I'm doing this. So we'll leave it at that. So take care for the next time. See you soon.